Hey guys, Van Diesel back on the Carpet Vanguard deck profile. So I hope you guys enjoyed them. Like, comment, subscribe, and subscribe. This time we're covering DZ set four for Stoicaea, Zorga Nadia. So Zorga got some new play things in set four. Pretty much it only got like okay out of the two cards I run, I only use one of them. Where pretty much can recycle orders, but I ended up changing my Zorga deck around a lot after seeing some testing from set two where I kind of realized I was being a little bit more cautious than I normally am, and that kind of I'm not gonna say it cost me a lot, but it definitely made the deck feel like it was lacking something. So let's go and see what we got here, see how I changed the deck, see how the new cards affect it, and pretty much just go ahead and show it off. First today we have our energy generator, it's our ride deck crest. So you remember the deck crest in your ride deck, auto ride deck when you drive, put this card into your crest zone. If one second energy charge three, so it's a free three energy every turn, which is nice. And then continues to have energies and auto begin rat phase and charge three. Okay, there's the free energy every turn. And then add once per turn energy about seven draw card. All around pretty solid. You will pretty much never use this energy boss 7 draw effect because this deck has two very important cards these of energy. One being, of course, your main grade 3 Zorga. The other one being your main grade 2 for offense, Abomination of Appending Karma. But again, being able to energy charge 3 every turn to at least make one of those free and then make one of them almost free is pretty solid. And having up to 10 energies to where if you brick that game and you don't really see Impending Karma too much, you will eventually be able to afford that draw skill if you just go the entire game without seeing Karma for some reason. Either way, though, this is our ride deck crest and we love to have it. And of course, we have our starter in Calamity Sipper, Grade Zero Boost, or Disastrous Slurper. Grade Zero Boost, 5k shows, 6k base, auto robot, and draw card, standard start, and it's free draw if you go second. You can make this nice start you want, none of the ride on that is cards this card. I just do make it Calamity, or Disastrous Slurper, eh. Uh, so Disastrous Slurper, because that's Zorga's canonical starter for Nadir. But again, it can be any starter you want just to make it this, because again, canonical. Is. So one of them in the red deck. Then we have our triggers. We're on one copy of our Over Trigger and Source Dragon DD, Blessings, Bless for Vore. Grades of a boost, but it can show fight, get power, Over Trigger, Over Trigger, and a deck of Vood, as Trigger, Move the card, draw a card, choose one mutes, it gets removed for the turn. And Vood, during a check, activate its effect, we can choose draw a card, choose one mutes, it gets a crit for the turn, all your promo gets plus 10,000 power, and if you damage the same number of cards, your opponents are more, choose a card for damage on heal. All around pretty solid, because no matter if you damage check this or drive check this, you're getting a draw in a million. But if you drive check this, on top of the free draw in a million, you are also getting a second draw so you get two draws in total someone gets a crit either the vanguard or the thing you're giving a million to your entire front row gets 10k on top of this so if your vanguard's a one to pass just don't give it the million and the 10k will go through and if your damage one is the same number of opponents or more you possibly get another heal so you pretty much get almost at least half of the effects regardless if you damage check this or heal or damage check this drive damage or drive check this but all right i love buzzword more a lot because unlike the other overs it's not necessarily or at least a lot unlike the other nation over triggers is not a guaranteed win, like how Elbow Breath kind of is, but it says like an everything bagel, and it makes it just a lot harder for your opponent to win. Like, it does so much, because it puts your opponent in such a worse position, because you get put in such a better position, but it doesn't auto-guarantee you the game. It just makes it an uphill battle for them, which is what I really love. It gives them a challenge. So, one of the best before, you can make it any over-trigger you want, just make it best before, because he is my favorite of the over-triggers. Then we have three copies of this remade in Lena, Great Zoe Boost, 5k shield, 4k base, continues guard circle, pumps vanguards are great, 3 guard, 5k shield, she knows she's 10k shield, nice to have, she's a draw trigger, so she needs to hand, this deck has a lot of orders and different great threes and different cards that it can't guard that it can go through, so being able to help increase your hand and try to see more cards that can guard is helpful, also again being extra shield is helpful and handy to have. Then we have our eight crits, we have four copies of Peppery Pepper, Great Zoe Boost, 5k shield, 5k power, you can make this whatever crit you want. Honestly, if it wasn't for the theme, considering the fact that these, like, the start deck triggers are canonically their respective faded one triggers, I would not run this because this does not feel like it fits Zorga's vibe. It really doesn't, especially the heal trigger, but it is the start deck triggers that are canonically the faded one triggers. So, against my will, we run Peppery Pepper at four, but again, make whatever crit you want. Then we have four copies of Spire Made in Alana, Grid Zoe, Boost, Finny K, Show, 4K Power, Critical Trigger, Auto Rear Guard, the Booster Shove, the Soul, Choose, and Music to for the turn. All are pretty solid. This deck does run a new specific card that can make this deck run into a soul problem, or it's not new, but it's new to this version of the deck. So, being able to increase the soul is nice and also add 2K, even though it might not make the difference. It might in some situations. So, free 2K is nice. And again, Eight crits for pressure, especially because a lot of the times the Vanguard might have triple drive thanks to everyone's favorite order. So we run eight crit for that, and then we have four copies of Cheery Support Elf, Cherry Support Elf. I still don't think this belongs in the Zorga deck, but it is what it is. Great Zoe Boost, Finny K Show, 5K Power, Standing Hill Trigger, you can make this whatever hill you want. Um, again, I just choose to make it this one because it's technically the canonical faded one heal trigger, as much as I heavily disagree with that statement. But um, either way, it's what it is. Make it whatever you want. If you want to make it the county hills, go ahead, but I prefer the normal hills anyways because consistent 15K Show over fluctuating 10 25, but it, you do you. Then we'll move on to our grade twos. Sorry, grade ones. First, we want three copies of the only card in this deck I'm fine with not being like theme wise with Zorga because 
I've played Zorga enough to know that there's a possibility this will happen, and I do not feel like running into that chance again. Fairy of Flower, Nectar, Quarter. There are times where I will stop my own stupidity if it bothers me enough. Great one, Boost, 5k Shield, AK Base. Alder when placed on Rearguard Zorga from the hand, so it doesn't proc from Zorga skill. If you did not play an order this turn yet, ditch a hand card, trick up one order card without Regalia's piece, discard it, and it gets continuous. This card can be played from Drop Zone, and when it be played and put into your Drop Zone, put the bottom deck instead, so end of turn, shuffle the deck. All around pretty solid. The entire point of Zorga is you know to play in order every turn i have played zorga since it's come out and there have been games where i will just not hit an order into hand or i will hit two orders into hand throughout that entire game and one of them i have to discard early on for one reason or another so nectar being able to i don't know stop that is great especially because sometimes when i do have more than one order i'll just get aggro down throughout that game and I have to eventually just the order for pg fodder because i want the persona right over the order and that has happened before. And, you know, this being able to get me orders from drop is solid. So, I like Quartura a lot, especially because Zorga does not require you to play the order from hand in order to Alka Magic, which is solid. So, I do like him. If you want to fit to the theme of Zorga, then I definitely recommend you either make this, uh... What's it called? And we're about to see why I say this in a second. But, Spoof Shade, because I don't run Spoof Shade anymore. Or, you could make it, um... What's that one grade one that I'm forgetting? The one that came out of set two was Zorga. It's seven, it's 15k booster that can give something 10k after it boosts if you have two or more different orders and binds on. Either way, though, Kortor is a very solid grade one. I do like it a lot, and I like his butterfly wing, so he gets a three up for me. Then we have three copies of our new grade one, and technically the only new card from set four in this deck, and that is Caesars of Deep Hades. So a grade one boost, 5k shield, 8k base, oct rear guard once per turn. If you have two, sorry, if your vanguards are grade three, grade with Zorga on the card, and retire two rear guards that are not itself. Choose a normal order from jobs, so add to hand. All right, pretty solid. It, it can help recycle normal orders you can ditch quarter for this if you really want to i don't because i know there are going to be games where i just don't hit orders in general that has happened before with this exact deck outside of you know the well, okay not, not this exact deck the one the version of this that didn't have sea scissors so yeah i still run quarter as a safety net because that was a recent match and i don't trust this deck anymore but sea scissors being able to bounce back in order to hand is solid so in case i lost all my quarters early on because again it has to be placed from hand for that fact i can rely on deep hades to also fill up my drop zone for call targets for zorga or you know put my roaming prisons in here so i don't have to run tearful mouths or just have to call over them normally especially if i have rear columns so again c scissors being a nice like recycler is good i only run at three copies because i mean once you see one of them is actually infinite for the rest of the game so three for me i like it at that number and i'm fine with keeping it at that number then we have three copies of cosita noble philander i swear there's four of them and maybe there is if this deck ends up having if someone does a count of this deck and then says like there's an odd number of cards or like there's not enough cards to make it 56 i guarantee you it's probably because i fucked up on the numbers and it's probably for lander that i accidentally cut an extra copy of anyways good on boost 5k shield aka base auto and wrote a pop sorry when placed from your hand look at the top five card your deck just one card from among them discard or shuffle the deck okay again kind of sucks that's an on place from hand effect but hey it does fill up your drop zone it can be in normal order it can be preferably roaming prison dragon over here it could be this thing it pretty much fills up your drop zone with whatever you need and then continues rear guard during turning for drops zone, more cards plus tons of power okay 18k pretty solid hell first grade three turn you can abuse the hell out of this make it good numbers make two of these in the same column 36ks combine them with uh zorga make it a 46k column going into a grade two four philander sorry three of philander maybe four i don't know what the number is anymore but either way it's a very solid grade one i do like having it a lot it goes with the drop zone it gets numbers if you play it right regardless of which number is that it's a really cool card i even love the fact that he has like the fencer motif from uh what's it called musk here so he's an ev three of if not a four for us let me have four copies of our PG in Honeycomb Thyrus. Grade one boost, zero souls. Okay, base contains set number four sentinels deck. I'm just put on guard circle. Choose one of your It cannot be hit to the battle if your hand is from a card. Choose a card from hands. Guard is standard PG. Nothing to specify. It. Basically, that means if there's only one card in hand, hand placed on guard circle, you don't have to discard. It's great. Because that means you can be as aggressive as the early game, and then your opponent eventually counterattacks you. You can throw this down, give the middle finger, and you're safe. Typically, that will happen a lot, though, in the early game. Because if you're like me, your hand will either be filled up with triggers, Zorgas, or PGs. Or not PGs. Uh, what's it called? Uh, orders. So you won't really have nothing in your hand. But again, being able to drop anything is great and fill up your drop zone. And obviously, you want to aggro with Hades and Philander as much as possible. You do want to keep this around. I mean, maybe use one of them just to, uh, you know, ye wandering souls on grade three on grade two turn because it doesn't have to be played with either size of grade three. But again, just be like kind of wary about that. Either way, though, four of the PG is nice to have. And I'm literally the entire time I was doing that speech, I was checking the Zorga deck profile or the Zorga deck I have on tabletop to see if it does have four Philanders, and it apparently only has three. So the number is right. Then we move on to our last group on the deck. One of them in the right deck, none of them 
main deck of Abyss Fishing. But yeah, for the record, I did not look up the screen at all. Like, I have that P PG speech memorized. Anyways... A great one boost by Kashoda, aka base on Abyss Fishing, auto and upon by a split the preordained. So last one checks out seven chips to one unit card up to one normal from number among them, reveal them, put one, the normal order into hand, and discard the rear normal unit and shuffle the deck. All right, pretty solid. Um I misspoke. I said it had to be a normal unit card. You do not have to reveal a normal unit, it can be any unit, so being able to sack a trigger is possible. But again, top seven to pretty much see anything. Most of the time you're gonna add like whatever orders among these. Typically it's one of these two. Sometimes it'll be ye. It will never be one of these two for me. But um, then again, for my friend, it's always one of these two. And then it'll never be any of these three, which is interesting. But then this is like the time they take to send a roaming to drop zone or an abyss karma or a philander or anything really. So honestly, abyss fishing is solid. It fills up your drop zone and it gets you the fodder you need to play orders. So it's a nice one of in the ride deck, none of the main deck. Sadly, it can't fill up your drop zone at the same time because that would be a little bit too broken, I guess. We move on to our grade twos. Four copies of the only main deck one, and that is Abyssin, uh, sorry, Abomination of Appending Karma. Grade two and set five K Shield, 10k base, auto replaced on rear guard circle, energy boss four, bind a normal order from the drop zone, plus 5,000 power to any return for each normal order of the different card in your bind zone. This deck has a total of five different normal orders, so this thing could possibly get plus 25 off that skill. The most I've ever gotten is plus 20, and I was astonished to get plus 20 with this deck, but that's what happens when I play the more aggressive version of how I normally play. And then auto drops on the beginning of your battle phase if you have a Vanguard with Lorca in the card name and divine skill and you played alka magic this turn you may call this card to rear guard circle not a mandatory but you may and if you did call it and your post event is also a great three guard to plus one crit our party saw can make itself basically another roaming but better and i remember how people just said this doesn't fix the problem with zorga i don't think it was intending to since th this was intended to be its own separate deck which, again, I question, because I feel like that skill specifically kind of told you it was meant to be as part of its own deck and not the original Zorga. But also a lot of people just said it's a worse roaming prison. I remember someone made that comment, and my immediate response to that was, is it though? Because it gets more numbers. Because most likely you bound one from Zorga to even Alchemagic in the first place. And then if you bind another card, it's automatically stronger than roaming prison inherently. So, is what it is though, um... Gets numbers, gets crits, can be played during the battle phase. If the game goes on longer, this card will definitely be your winning con, just because it will get more numbers overall. So I do like Impending Karma a lot. It does set up for the late game, but it can also just be a big beat stick during the mid game. And again, it's a second roaming prison dragon, but it's a second roaming prison dragon. So in case you have like bad luck with roaming and you always like whiff it or you only see one every game, uh, Abomination of Impending Karma is nice to have. So four of it, you can make this whatever you want, especially if you do hate Impending Karma, but I think he's a really amazing grade too. Then on to our last grade two in the deck, one of them in the ride deck, none of the main deck, and that is split the preordained. Grade two and stuff, 5k shield, 10k base, auto road upon by Zorga with the divine skill, just one normal order from the drop zone, bounce it to hand, then continues rear guard, play an order this turn, 5,000 power. Okay, there is a way to call this out from drop zone, it's called soul busting, and then getting it out so it could get the 5k, but um, when your options are this, 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 and this, and even on occasions this is because, then um, you don't really need to call this, but I mean, the options there, if you need to, it's a free 5k, you don't have to alchemy for that effect, but I mean, this bounce an order back to your hand, so if you didn't have to search your deck for a Yi via Kortor. You can just straight up play a Yi from the hand and then just bounce it back to your hand next turn. Or like whatever order you did discard for you, you can just bounce it back to your hand. So once put the pure day in the right deck, nice to have. A lot of people don't like the fact that his skill is more passive since that means um Unlike the original Zorga Grade 2 Black Tears Hush Dragon, who was on place, and they literally do the exact same skill, just one's on place and one's on road upon. That, that means you have to be, quote-unquote, less aggressive. I feel like you get to be more aggressive with this, since that means you don't have to really worry about having to play an order on your first turn, especially if you went second, or sorry, especially if you went first. So, want to split the Pure Day in the Riot deck, then the main deck for me. Then, move on to our Grade 3s. Four copies of, of course, the Belway, the more the... Boy, the chat, the myth, the legend, roaming prison dragon, great dune jumper sword, 13, 5k base. I don't know why I always say 5, 13k base. Auto drop zone. When you play normal order, you can call this card to drop zone. And then if you call this card, perform on the following. If it was alka magic, you perform all the following instead. So either gets 10k for the turn or gets a crit for the turn. Or again, during alka magic, you do both. Are pretty solid because if you end up ditching this via abyss fishing or philander, it's a very solid card to play on your grade two turn when you know you court tour into ye wandering souls. Call this card, give it 10k. Or if you play our other order over here call something behind it give an extra 5k and then give this thing a crit instead therefore you can pressure while your vanguard has twin drive our roaming prison dragon is a really good card because it acts as pressure in this deck where you can restand columns and get bigger numbers as the game progresses is it becoming a really big threat to your opponent, especially if you alka magic with two very specific cards in mind? So all around, I like Roman Prison a lot. It's basically a free version of a Abomination who works a lot faster and better in the early game. Like once the mid to late game comes around, obviously a, a pending karma is better. But Roaming Prison being like consistent all around is still a very good grade three. I like having it in here, so it's an easy four for me. 
And then, of course, we have our main grade three in the deck, three in the main deck, one of them in the ride deck, a faded one of Taboo, Zorga Nadir, or Zorga Nadir, I like to call him. I know the dub pronounced it Nadir. As you know, the Jap the sub pronounced it Nadir, too, but I prefer Nadir, just because it sounds cooler to me. And his grade three, 10 up person, 13k base, can use Vanguard Circle when you play a normal order. You can choose what normal order the different card name for your bind zone, Alka Magic it. So, pretty saw, it's just like... Now, the, originally, Zorgas had to bind from drop zone when you did the Alka Magic. Now, it's just already preset up. And then, if you're wondering how you're going to get stuff into the binds on outside of Karma, that's where this skill comes in. Act Vanguard, once per turn, Energy Blast 2, and bind a normal order from drop. Show the two cards from your drop zone, call them to the Rearguard Circle. They both get five of the power for each normal order with a different card. I mean, buys at the end of your turn with those units. All right, pretty solid. Get your board presence up, gets the units at least 5k for the first time you use that effect. After that, it possibly gets them plus 10 or even plus 15 during one game. And if you combo with Karma, right, maybe even plus 20. And then not to mention the fact, too, at the end of the turn, they die. So if your opponent's playing a deck that, like, binds rear guards and you want to have, such as Blagmire, for example, uh, and you want, you know, your rear guard to stay in drop zone, well, bypass that by just killing them at the end of your turn. Also, on Prisald, and then Divine Skill, Auto Vanguard, when this attacks into a grade 3 or grade unit, can be a Vanguard, can be a rear guard. So, about once you use a column, stand all your rear guards and column is that. At the end of the turn, retire those units. Something that I realized I could bring up with the Varga video and now I'm going to bring it up here. If you're playing against a deck like a superior called Grade 3s while both players are at Grade 2, for example if you play the Bastion Ride Line for whatever reason and you flip Fort Skill and call a Grade 3 from the ability, well Zor, you can have your two double crit rear guards, you know, Roaming Prison and some, well, Abomination wouldn't go off, so double Roaming Prisons. You have your double crit rear guard swing into the Vanguard, whether they take or not, doesn't matter. Zorga then swings into that rear guard that's a Grade 3. You Soul Blast, because this can proc regardless of a Grade the opponent's Vanguard I just have to swing at a grade three grade unit. Stand the karma or stand the double crit column, and then you know if your opponent guards, they guard. But now they're at grade two at the damage deficit, and while you used up your divine skills, sure you definitely have the advantage in terms of aggressive pressure, unless they've been trick attacking you this game. So all around, Zorg is a pretty solid grade three. He technically fulfills his own skill because as long as you have order cards in your drop zone, you keep calling your rear guards out and they keep dying. They'll get stronger. You have constant targets for Alka Magic as long as you have ways to play orders such as Quarter, which is nice. And, you know, Cesar's over here who helps recycle your orders is great. And also, the fact his Divine Skill puts a lot more pressure on your abilities to, you know, make double crit, double columns, which is pretty solid. Especially with the Vanguard that helps possibly his triple drive. It gets more crit pressure from, you know, our eight crits over here. Hell, if you want to run Frederick, just to prove a point, you can. But I just should make it draws because this deck already gets enough numbers as it is. So, they were the main deck of Zorga, one of the ride deck, does everything you need him to do, and honestly, he's a very good standalone grade 3. <laughs> Then we have our uh, order cards, finally. So I've kind of pretty much shown off all of them the entirety of this video. So if you want to pause them early, you could have. But now let's go over each one at a time. I run each of them at two of because I feel like you can see them all consistently when they're all at two. First, I run two copies of Spiritual Body Condensation. This is the new card I was talking about where it can lead the deck into a soul problem. I didn't run it originally because I thought it would lead to a soul problem because I remember one of the first things people talked about seeing with Zorga Nadir is the fact that it might have a soul problem since, you know, its biggest skill, the Divine Skill, if it only costs one soul blast, still costs a soul blast, especially because, you know, Abyss Fishing over here also costs soul boss as well well i stopped listening to people and just chose to be me and lo and behold it worked out anyway spiritual body condensation grade one normal order play by soul bossing one choose a great because you card with a great less secret to your vanguard call to drop call from drop zone and it gets five thousand power for that turn i'm pretty solid it helps fill up your board and again it can trigger off roaming prison skill so if you want to call philander behind it so it's a 13k then call roaming prison to the front row give it a crit it's an 18k column with double crit so your opponent has to block it or you just give it plus 10 and now it's a 28k column and your opponent has to either take it or block it either way adds pressure and i like having it for or that aggressive early game push, but also late game push. We need to alka magic it with this and this in case you can't alka magic these two together. So two of this order. Then we have two copies of Gather Upon Me, Ye Wandering Souls. Play by discarding ore from the hand. Uh, choose my Vanguard to get a drive for the turn. Okay, all around pretty solid. It gives your Vanguard triple drive. If you give it to the grade two, it gets twin drive. Car roaming from this, very simple. We've been over this play enough. If you give it to the Vanguard, well, well it's a Zorgon Adir and it has triple drive. Well, you got extra crits. You got two comms that already have extra crits on them. You pretty much essentially guarantee that your entire front row will have extra crits, or at least you basically force the Vanguard to be the attack your opponent takes because the other units will probably push them for game. So, two of you Wandering Souls. This is sadly the order I don't see very often in this version of the deck. There's always one order I don't see, and I guess this time it's Wandering Souls. And that's why we have Quarter because I really need this order. So, two of Gather. Then we have two copies of probably my favorite order in this deck that isn't you Wandering Souls, and that's Cloud and Miasma. Great three normal order played by Karabasting 1. This is the only card in the deck that actually eats into the CB, so by all means, feel free to play this as much as you want. Choose a great throws card from your drop zone, call it to rear guard circle, and this card is a part of Alka Magic. Choose one of your vanguards, and it gets contains Vanguard. All your front gets size and power for that turn. So, all around pretty solid. It gives the Vanguard, who sadly doesn't get buffs on itself, plus five, so it's an 18k. Persona Ride, 28k, and then you boost for like 36k. All around, it's pretty solid. It combos really well with this card in Alka Magic. I think my favorite Alka Magic combos are like.
like this plus this, this plus either of these two, and then this kind of works with all of them, but it prefers to be played while you're on grade two or grade one even. So take that as you will. There's a nice alchematic order. And again, what I lo really love about Zorg is like, unlike compared to the other ones where they have to bind from drop zone, meaning your orders only have a one-time use unless you have multiple copies. This one is literally once they get into the bind zone via this skill or... Um, karma skill over here you automatically use as much as you want so you can play this as much as you want and once it hits the bind zone it's just literally the only card with cb you can afford to play this every turn and there'll literally be no downside to that so two of cloud and miasma two of grudge of Cre clutch of grudge toxin grade three normal order played by if your vanguard's a zorg with a divine skill choose one vanguards and it gets all the vanguard when it swings into a vanguard retire rear guard and choose one opponent's rear guards murder and this unit gets tons of power for that battle on of turn okay solid zorger constantly kills unit it buffs up for eight skill anyways so you can empty up your board maybe get your roaming back in drop zone or whatever you call from this skill back into drop zone or you played it during your divine skill turn kill whatever you target with the divine skill and then you know it gets 20 it gets an extra 10k so it's a 23k if you alchemize with a cloudy miasma it's a 28k so it does work out really well it gets rid of rear guards it adds numbers it's just my least favorite order to play in this deck because unlike this one where it gets rear guards and unlike this one where it gets uh, drive checks it adds numbers to the vanguard sure but it kind of just doesn't hurt your opponent that much compared to everything else so as much as i like it i don't use it too often but it is nice to have in case you need to mess with the opponent's board or in case the vanguard just really needs numbers because you already have like decent numbers going everywhere else so i like to have two copies of Gludge toxin and then we have two copies of our final card in the deck. Fill the skies, oh brand of corpses. Grade three, normal order. Play if your vanguards is Zorg with divine skill. Choose your vanguards and it gets to change vanguard. All your rearguards placed when drop this turn, regardless of whose skill is placed by, whether it's their own skill or the vanguard skill, get plus five power until the end of the turn. So let's just run through a play real quickly. Your board's empty. Zorga binds. Let's say you already. Let's say you persona. Actually, let's say you didn't persona. So this is the first grade three turn. You bind the miasma from the drop zone. You call out two philanders. They're thirteen k's. You then alchemagic cloud of miasma with fill of corpses. Uh, cloud of miasma calls a third philander. Actually, not a third philander. Let's say it calls CD Hades from the drop zone, and then your front row gets five thousand power. This makes it so everything called from drop zone gets five thousand power. So that C scissors is now thirteen k. Those Philanders are both 18Ks, and then let's say you double roaming, they call themselves out, they get plus a total of 15K, 10 from their own skills, 5 from this guy. Actually, they get plus 20K, because another 5 from Cloud and Miasma. So these are now both 25K double criticals, being boosted by two 18Ks, meaning on your first grade 3 turn, you have two columns of 43K double crits, all while the opponent can be at grade 2. That is why I like this order combo. Because that's literally only one CB to do all of that. And it can literally get you a board from nowhere. It takes one CB and two energy to get you a full board from nowhere that gets that num type of numbers. Two of Fill the Skies, O Brand of Corpses. Very solid order. Combos really well with Gludge of uh, Cloud and Miasma. And combos decently well with Spiritual Body Condensation. The other two, not so much. But still combos well with Zorga nonetheless. So two of here. And without further ado, that's it for the deck. I hope you all enjoyed. This deck is really fun to play. It is like old Zorga, but like has more consistency. Because again, once an order gets in the bind zone, you can use it as much as you want. Nectar's here for recycling orders as much as you need them to. Philander's here for end game plus 18k columns and, you know, being able to nail any card from the top five in an early game rush. Karma is literally death on steroids once the end game hits. Roaming Prison is the most consistent threat throughout this entire game. Once I said drops on once, you know your opponent's in trouble. And any of these orders, if played in the right way, can definitely be deadly. If you want to try to play the unnatural one, like the grade one order that can bind itself to add two orders from drops on the hand, you can. Originally, that's what I had in place of spiritual body condensation, but I didn't. I stopped running that because it only worked in one game ever. The game, I would just brick with it, so I just chose not to run it. Either way, though, that's it for this one. I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join for Twitch. I'll see you all in this one. Don't set up your vanguards.